We have a question from Ben. I was on the sixth week of even easier strength singles day and happened to borrow a lifting buddy's belt. Never used one before. With the belt, I was able to improve my previous PR by 50 pounds and get it to over double body weight. Well, Ben, that is great. And congratulations. You're about to ask a question that's going to undo a few things, but let's go with it anyway. So my question is, is a lifting belt cheating? No. Are there times when it is useful? Yes. And I have a point in just a second. Like attempting a max lift without injury. Does this count as progress in the deadlift? Yes. Or is it just a mirage due to the assistance? I don't know, but we don't care. Uh, the only time I wear a weightlifting beat, uh, <laughs> pardon, weightlifting belt is at Olympic lifting meets. And I wear it in the clean and jerk. And that's the only time I wear a belt. I never train with a belt. And the reason is I picked up this habit, oh, probably in 1975. So it's a new one for me. Is that when I put the belt on, cinch, cinch. It gets me, it gets me in the zone mentally. Click, click, click. I mean, I just know uh, that extra tightness is free tension. Uh, it's interesting. I wish I could wear something here because the day after Olympic lifting meets, I'm always so sore here because of that. Uh, this right there. I, and as much as I train, uh, it I just don't seem to be able to mimic the stress here. So that's always kind of a funny thing. Uh, no, it's not cheating. In fact, I, I applaud it. Uh, I think it's great that you did that. And that's my knock on people who wear belts doing uh, machine curls, is that they miss the whole point of what you have a belt on for, and that is to teach that anaconda strength that things like bear hug carries teach. Boy, I sure hope that helps. And hey, congratulations to you. The double body weight deadlift is a good thing, and I'm proud of you, Ben. Thank you. It's good.